While playing Iron Classic or any version prior to 3.0, we all had a moment when we either knew what Google showed us was wrong because it was from after 3.0 or couldn't find anything about our topic. For the needs of my guides, I developed some reflexes to work around this issue and I wanted to detail the steps so you can do it too. Introduction The general principle will be the same for all parts of this guide. Everything in the game has a unique identifier, usually a number, shortened as ID. NPC, items, even maps have one. This ID is the same across all versions of Iron. First, you will need to find the ID, and then you use it to get what you want. The hard part being to know how to use it, and this is mainly what this guide will focus on. Oh, and disclaimer. I will say AIDB a lot in this video. I'm sorry for the pronunciation, but AIDB is just hard to say for me and sounds wrong to my ears. 1. Finding info on a mob. Location, drop list, comments on how to kill them. First, let's be clear. Every 5 levels starting 25, there are gold drops that are mostly random. You can get it from any mob. There's just a higher chance on elites, but no mobs in particular will drop it more than others. Outliers are not worth detailing. Second, Google the name and add iron for accuracy. The top results will always be iron codex or iron power book. What you'll be looking for is the ID of the mob. On iron codex, it's just above the mob name. Be careful though, because Iron Codex tends to have two versions of every mob, one for Classic Iron and one for Retail. Classic Iron typically begins with 21. On Iron Power Book, it's in the URL. It should look like this. So here, the ID is 212315. Now that you have the ID, put it at the end of this one. For ULAN, it gives this URL. IDB is all in Russian, but it has subtitles in English, and you can always use Google Translate to switch the page to English. The drop list can be trusted, and it is currently the best website at providing data. Some comments can be useful for any extra details. If IDB still didn't give you anything, we'll have to resort to slower methods. Back in 2010, Several Iron databases existed, and one of the most useful was ironarmory.com. I really like Iron Armory because its commentary section was actually used and could be helpful if you struggle to find what you want, like Vindashinak Spawn Times, for example. Iron Armory was partially backed up on archive.org, but since it's not Googleable, you'll have to know what you want to see before you start. In the case of Iron Armory, the URL for mobs was this form. You got the gist of it, add the ID at the end, like here for ULAN. Now take this link and paste it into web.archive.org. If archive.org has it, it will display dates to you for when the snapshot was taken. The same process can be tried for iondatabase.com, iondatabase.net, and no, it's not the same website, and ionbase.net. IronBase seems to have the most data. There was also a database called Iron Warehouse, but it was not archived and I'm not aware of any other good alternative. Now, if you want to go even further, you can always check the Korean and Japanese databases. The process is not reliable as Korea and Japan don't use the ID in their URL for mobs. For the record, URL will look like this for Korea, and like this for Japan. So instead, what you wanna do is, for Korea first, get the ID of an item. Uh, it's, it should be longer than the mob ID. Put it at the end of this URL. Right below the item stats, there is a blue and brown table. The first row of this table should begin with the level of the mob you're looking for, between bases, on the right background. Click on it, and ta-da, you're on the mob page. The second way for Korea is to go to this page. 
It's a generic one. The table is in dark blue, light blue and white. It's the first thing you should look at. The second row says Poeta, Verteron, Eltnen, Theobomos, Heron, and the third says Ishlagen, Algard, Moheim, Bristonin, Beluslan, and the fourth one says Ingison and Galkmaros. Click on whichever pleases you. Once on the page, check out the pink purple header. Tick the first box and you'll only see the named mobs. Tick the second one and you only see the, the world bosses. Now you just have to click until you find the one you want. There is a third way for Korea. You can go to this map and choose between two styles by clicking on the two radio buttons on the top left corner. The second one is more accurate. The three drop down lists mean Elysia in blue, Asmodae in red and Abyss in black. Choose an option until you're on the right map. Click the middle tab, right to the tab called NPC. In the drop down list just below, choose the middle option. It's for named mobs. The third option is bosses and represents the very big world bosses. Now you just have to click until you find the one you want. So this was for Korea and now for Japan. And go to this URL. The drop down list in the top left corner is the list of the iron maps. Choose one randomly until you find the one you need. You'll notice the URL ends with M code equal a letter letter digit, where the letter letter digit is the ID of the map. For your information, Helios maps are LF1, LF1A, LF2, LF2A, LF3 and LF4, while Arsmo maps are DF1, DF1A, DF2, DF2A, DF3 and DF4 from level 1 to level 55. Once you're on the map, check the sections in the left menu. The fifth one is about the main mobs. Click on the name in the menu, it will display a pop-in on the map. Click the name of the mob in the pop-in and it will bring you to the mob page with its drop list. On a side note, I highly encourage you to fiddle with this map as it has great options. You can see quests and the path from objective to objective. You can see airstreams, you can see normal mobs if you need them for a quest. It's a really, really good map. 2. Finding where an item drops or its stats. The process will be highly similar to one, except that the URL will change. First, get his ID. It should look like this. And then replace it in the following URLs. Again, if you want to go deeper, let's use archive.org and odd databases that no longer exist. Repeating it, I really like Ion Arvani because its commentary section was actually used. Here is an example of a command chain with very useful information. URL you want to search for in webarchive.org are ionarmory.com, iondatabase.com, ionbase.net and iondatabase.net. 3. Finding quest info. Some quests can be hard to complete when it involves an NPC with a spawn schedule or hidden objectives. While it's quite easy to google the quest name, Allow me to share the usual names and add a tip for those ready to click 5 minutes to save 20 in game. As usual, get the ID. For most quests though, if you manage to get the ID, it means you're on a page with enough details on it already. For when it's not the case, try googling ionmmorypglive.com with the name of the quest. This website is usually really good with quests or try your luck by googling quests with the ID with the double quotes. Once again, the best additional resources for quests are on Iron Armory in the command section. Go to archive.org and search for these URLs ironarmory.com, iondatabase.com, ironbase.net and iondatabase.net. And now, if you're ready to put some effort in, let's go back to the Japanese map. Go to this URL. The drop down list in the top left corner is a list of iron maps. Choose one randomly until you find the one you need. Once you're on the map, check the sections in the left menu. The first one are campaigns, yellow quests, 
And the second one are normal quests, the blue ones. Click on a name in the menu and it will display a pop-in on the map. Click several times if it doesn't work the first time. You can use Google Lens on this because Google Translate won't work. Click until you find the quest. The quest level should help. The wonderful thing about this is that it displays your pathing on the map. No more hesitating on where to go. You can click the quest pop-in title on the map to be redirected to the quest guide. This page is translatable with Google Translate. 4. A word on Ion Source and Ion MMO site. Ion Source was a forum with a lot of activity between 2009 and 2012. It had a lot of user generated content and some very good guides. Unfortunately, it was taken down, so your only way of browsing it now is to use archive.org. Here is a link that could get your interest Guide to get the Sirocco Mask, aka the Wind Spirit Mask. Starting from this link, you should be able to browse the forum with minimal hiccups. Don't hesitate to change the date to see other guides. And finally, I wanted to talk about Ion MMO site. This website was kind of a blog on all topics of Ion, from useless to quite interesting. For example, this page lists all the treasure boxes and what they can give you. Here is another page that lists all the unique skins that are not in the cash shop. To conclude, I would say there are a lot of Dead Legend forums and blogs out there from 2010 that I haven't talked about, and I haven't touched either on exploiting the game files to go even deeper, but I'm sure you wouldn't need it anyway.